one of the things when you're turning classic cars electric, like this 1975 Porsche 911, is what you do with the gauges. Now, some are easy, of course, we need a speedometer, uh, we need things like battery level, you know, state of charge. But in this case, there's a big hole here, which is where the RPM would have been. A tachometer or an RPM gauge is really important when you've got a manual car and you want to know what the shift points are. And of course, in race cars, people talk about a second gear corner and they're thinking about what RPM to do and where the power band is in the motor. But if you've got a single speed electric vehicle, RPM is just directly correlated to speed. It's a one-to-one -one relationship. So this gauge becomes a little pointless if it's just RPM. So what do you want to know? Well, you want to know power. And power is important because it means you can see what the regen is, so how much power is going back into the battery from deceleration. And of course, you know, what power you're delivering, how much you've got in reserve, it will deliver this power effortlessly. So, you know, it kind of gives you an economy gauge. If you're driving into a headwind, you're driving uphill, you're going to be using a lot more power when you feel like you're just cruising. So that's important for knowing range. So we create a new gauge face and integrate that into a brand new gauge that can show power with a simple needle, but also have a small screen that can show things like uh, charge time remaining, range remaining, drive mode, those key electric vehicle elements that are important, even though predominantly you're dealing with the analog simplicity of a single needle. So let's get this installed. With the 911 gauges, they're literally just an interference fit with this rubber collar. So if I connect the multi-pin plug and leave it to the mechanical team who have more of a deft touch than me, but you can get what it's gonna look like in place with the red showing where you're really peaking out on power. And in fact, the motor will deliver more than this, about 330 kilowatts. It's really fun though to see the power go back into regen when you're decelerating and putting energy back into the battery.